from the Bogota Savings Bank Center on the campus of Fairleigh Dickinson University, WCTV is proud to present the 67th Oscar F. Thompson Memorial Bergen County Jamboree. And tonight we have the finals between Don Bosco Prep and the Ramapo Raiders. Hello everybody, I'm Larry Lafeer with the volunteers of WCTV. We're at the re refurbished FDU field. They call it now the Bogota Savings Bank Center. We have a game here today, John. Don Bosco, number one. Ramapo, number three. They, they faced once before. Bosco won 59-45 up at Ramapo. But it should be a very interesting game. Ramapo played an outstanding game last week, knocking off Bergen Catholic. You're right, Larry. And to me, you got it. The only way that they stay close, they have to shoot a lot of threes. They have to duplicate what they did in the semis. Well, we're going to have the opening uh, ceremonies that we always do here at the uh, Jamboree. We are going to have the, the awarding of the Howard H. Ballerman Award, and it's going to be given out this year to Pete DeFranco. And then we'll have the national anthem. We'll introduce all the players of both teams, and then we'll jump it off and we'll see who is the champion this year of the Bergen County Jamboree. So what we're going to do now, I think here, is that we're going to send this over to the voice of the Jamboree, Joe Hausman, and he turned it over to Paul Pluglis, the chairman of the tournament. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to the Space Arena here on the campus, Valley Dickinson University. For today, well, they're going to now announce the, uh, the teams, but we congratulate our friend Pete DeFranco, 64 graduate of Garfield High School, and Pete was a longtime official. Let's listen to the introduction of the teams. I'll come back by the 
get a break in the first quarter and just go over some of the achievements of our 2024 Ballerman Award winner, Pete DeFranco. Super nice guy.
Well, the festivities are completed. Both teams were introduced. There is a packed house here at FDU's Bogota Savings Bank Center. Uh, tickets were sold online, but we think a couple of <laughs> people did get in because we are packed. It is. It's a standing room. This is standing room only. Oh just Look at him. Just to very quickly go back to, to Pete uh, DeFranco, we don't want to pass this up. He's a long-time career uh, official, 50 years almost, of fishing in uh, various sports, basketball, baseball, volley. Past president of the IABBO, board number 33, basketball officials, <laughs> Northeast Volleyball <laughs> official, and the Bergen County umpires and the New Jersey Football Official Association. So he's been around. He's done 20 state football finals, hmm. two Bergen County Jamboree finals, and he's done eight state basketball finals and tournaments and champions. He's been around a long time, and he's a very worthy recipient of this year's Howard H. Bollerman Award. Here we go. go Ramapo has the ball as we start. Seals will bring it across the timeline. So it's going to be Seals watched by Harper, which makes sense. Seals is their best player. Harper's going to try to play defense on him and slow him down. Savino wants three, shoots. Oh. 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 And one in a million gets stuck. <laughs> Isaiah Brown, <laughs> Dylan Harper, Jordan Gee, Brady Laughlin, and Kaina Aspira for Don Bosco. They're in black. Larry, that never happened to us before. No, we can't, <laughs> we can't get it down. In all the years. <laughs> Brown brings it up. Goldman watching a jump shot. Harper breaks the seal of the game. Two nothing. Here comes Seals. Goldman, Servino. Servino's a good shot. That was a seal shot. No good. Taken down by Harper. Harper comes across. Watch by Man. Harper shoots. No good. Rebound by Peyton Seals. Quickly across to Manor. Manor into oh, Winfield, no good. He had a nice look at it, Winfield did. Taken down, Brown has it, brings it across. One step quickly in, and puts it in and is fouled. Zero. I think he went to say hello to uh, the mother and father in the Isaiah, stands. <laughs> now these stats I give you from just the Jamboree. Isaiah Brown, eight points a game, two rebounds, 3.7 assists, and two steals. So he makes the three point, and it's five nothing now as Bosco takes the lead here. Comes Mana. Manor, Winfield, Manor watched by Brown, Goldman, Seals. Grandpa trying to get inside. They lose the ball, it's gonna be a jump ball. Yep, jump ball. And it's gonna to go to Ramapo, looks like. Yes, staying. Yeah, Ramapo. Yep. Seal, Peyton Seals will throw it in. Manor, boy Seals and Manor and Servino, they played together for a long time and they played a lot of games in the Jamboree. Whitfield has a wide open side shot, rims the basket. <clears throat> no good, taken down by Brady, over to Harper. Harper quickly into the forecourt. Pitches to the outside, three-pointer is taken down by Seals. Peyton brings it across the goal. Servino. Servino tries to break the defense down. It's closed up. Now Bosco's been playing some really good defense lately. Ball gets knocked away. Servino has it. Out to Mana. Mana shot, no good. Take it down three. by Gee. 
He brings it across the timeline, slows everything up. Brown. Harper, gonna go to Rutgers next year. It'll be a nice fit there. That's Brilla, out here to Dee. Dee, Brown. Brown, drives, and outside the shot by Gordon G. Eight nothing, this is Kevin DeVario, the coach at Don Bosco. He's done a nice job here over the years. Goldman, Winfield. Savino from way downtown, no good. Taken down by Brown. Out to Laughlin, puts it up. And Harper gets it in. <laughs> so Harper puts it in and Bosco takes a very quick 10 to nothing lead with four minutes and seven seconds to go, John. You know, Larry, they got to make the three to stay in the game. Uh, Ramapo needs to make it, you know, a little bit off. These rims sometimes are a little tight in the beginning of the game. Yeah, I, I agree. The, uh, the, J, the JV team played the, 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 the tonight, or the freshman team, I beg your pardon, and Don Bosco did face Ramapo in the finals of the 2024 20, BCCA Championship Saturday. And Don Bosco won 53-44. I want to thank Bobby Maines for being there and <clears throat> working that game. Bobby Maines seen about 100 games this year. Uh, unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> what a guy. <laughs> <laughs> he knows basketball. <laughs> He's WCTV is WCTV <laughs> eyes and ears. Oh, my goodness. Of high school football and basketball. I tell you, he's a good walker, too, now, by the way. I, oh. I like the way he walks. <laughs> We'll talk more about that. <laughs> Seals brings it up. Winfield. I think round has got to settle down. They, yeah. just, they haven't scored, and there's a little over four minutes gone in the quarter. And we have a whistle. This is Nick Veer. He is the uh, head coach at Ramapo. Nick also played for uh, Bergen Catholic and was in the Jamboree Finals. So he's no stranger to it. I think I mentioned the name was Nick Veer. Yes. I think I did, but if I didn't, I apologize. Does a great job, Ed. Rambo. Oh, she is no and, good. Oh, that's goaltending. Goaltending. Let's fill it. Hit the ball on the round the rim. So, Ramapo gets its first points of the game. Harper brings it down. <coughs> Laughlin. Harper, they're gonna go. Mana got pushed away. He went flying across the court. Last year, Don Bosco won this tournament. They defeated Bergen Catholic 71 to 49. And the year before, 2022, Bergen Catholic defeated Don Bosco 71-64. I won't tell you what happened in 21 because <laughs> I like to forget 21. That was pandemic time. And another, oh, whoa, block. He spilled a block. No good. Savino had, boy, he spilled blocked that one. I thought that might have been close to goaltending, but no. Peyton Seals wants a long <laughs> one, no good. Mm. Laughlin has the rebound. Now last week they were making those shots. He shoots, no good. Seals has. Payton brings it up. Cut off by Harper. And the Mario said it's going the other way. Uh, let's see. It's, it's this is part of the crowd that's here this afternoon at a one o'clock game. 
to see the finals of this year's jamboree. Seals is, has to work very hard. That's what uh, Don Bosco is doing. They're playing very good defense and making Ramapo really work for everything. Seals surrounded. Savino gets away. Bowman. Mana. Outstanding defense. He lays inside, stolen. Savino has Winfield. Mana. Back outside to Seals. He loses the ball. Laughlin has it. Runs into Savino. Out to Harper and it slows down with 128 to go. 10-2. Don Bosco leads. Lofman, Brady loses the ball. Brown, watch by Manor. Brown, he drives. They're gonna call, he walked. Deverio's gonna make a uh, substitution here. Manor should come in, number 20. William Mensa is in for Don Bosco. So Mensa's in. Dolman out to Savino. Seals. We're at 43 seconds to go in the quarter. It's 10 to two, Don Bosco. Shot no good. Back out. It might have been a shot, might have been a pass. Goldman. Savino drives in. Tried to get the ball quicker. Seals with a reverse, gets it in. This is what Ramapo did all last week against them, against Bergen Catholic, and they hit their, their long shots. They've missed their shots today, so far. Harper stops, shoots, hits, no good, comes out, and that is it. The quarter oh. comes to an end. Oh. So we played one quarter here at the Bogota Savings Bank Center, the campus of Fairleigh Dickinson University for the 67th Oscar F. Thompson Memorial Bergen County Jamboree Final, where Don Bosco leads Ramapo 10 to four. You are watching WCTV, the old volunteer group from the township of Washington. Just a couple of quick stats here to give you an idea why it's a 10 to four lead for Don Bosco. We uh, have Don Bosco has six turnovers, three turnovers, excuse me, and uh, Ramapo had two. Six rebounds. Six rebounds to five rebounds, Bosco over Ramapo. And Ramapo shooting two for 10, where Bosco was shooting four for nine. Ramapo shooting at 20%, where Don Bosco shooting 44%. And if you're rooting for Ramapo, you know they gotta make the three-point shot. That's the name of their game. Let's see, everybody stays the same. Yes. Brown will throw it in right in front of me. <laughs> and here we go. Harper has. Harper driving. Brown from downtown. Rebound. Asprilla has it. Going to drive in. Throws it back outside. Stolen by Seals. Payton brings it across, drives all the way in, and they're gonna call a foul as Seals was driving. Uh, I think the foul was on William Mensch. I think. Winfield. Mana. He'll back it out. 
almost loses it. Dolman yeah. oh. loses it, and they're going to say it was off a Ramapo play. Yes. I think he would have liked uh, the foul after the whistle was blown, though. Yeah. <laughs> Winfield. And they're going to call a uh, number Menish 20 for a foul. Yep. Yeah. Running, running into the player. That's been his second foul. Seals. Surrounded. Savino. Savino has a block oh. by Esprilla, who does that nicely. And a foul. They're going to call a foul, I believe. Well, wait. I think it'll be on 10. It is. Foul on, on Seals. That's his first foul of the game. We're in the second quarter. It's 10 to 4. Don Bosco leads. We have ten, eight, seven minutes to go in the half. Peyton Seals with the rebound from ground shot. Ball gets knocked away, but it's picked up by Seals. And they're going to call a push on Mana. I believe that was Menace foul number 20. It is. It's. Well, he picked up three quick fouls. Three quick ones. Winfield. So he's. He might be. Uh, <laughs> out little, for the half a little pine time <laughs> well you only you allowed five out. <laughs> he's got three-fifths of them already <laughs> Winfield looking Goldman Seals mm. rebound comes to Don Bosco's Brown over to Harper wants one from day way downtown Taken and almost knocked out of bounds. So Don Bosco gives it up to Servino. This is part of the Don Bosco crowd, the uh, student center. I think everybody's off. Every, tomorrow's a national holiday. Everybody's off. So you can stay as long as you want tonight. <laughs> no homework due tomorrow. They'll be partying for the winning team. <laughs> Winfield for three, oh. short. Comes to Gee. Gee slowed up by Seals. Harper. Harper. And they're going to call a foul on Goldman, probably. And is Dawa. There's our logo that they're uh, putting up on the screen here. <laughs> All of the, and we're gonna mention the sponsors. They have them on this rolling screen at the, uh, at the, at the press table. I bet our taxes will go up in Washington Township now. Some's gonna go up. <laughs> Don't <they> please. <laughs> So Hopper's going to go to the line, shoots one, makes it 11-4. And we have some substitutions for um, Ramapo. Looks like number 14. Number 14, Keith will come in. Peter Keith. Yep. And we'll pick up the... <coughs> and number 22, uh, Zach Schnorbusch. Schnobush has it. Out the seals has a clean shot. It's going to be way long. Mana. Seals has had his looks, but hasn't dropped. Mana. Out the Schnobush. Into Keith. Gets knocked away. Quickly over to Brown. Brown goes up. Puts it up. No good. Put up. No good. Rebounded by Keith. Nice. Servino quickly to Seals. 
Seals over to Mana. Long jump shot. They finally hit a long one. <laughs> this is this what makes Grand Post so difficult. They just haven't hit their shots. They were two for ten in the first quarter. So it's a 12-7 game. And they need to be able to shoot from outside. Oh, absolutely. To stay in this game. So Brown now holds it, gets some instructions from Kevin DeVario, the coach. Harper with a nice move and then a finger roll. Lays it in. 14 to 7. Outstanding player, Mr. Harper. We'll be going to Rutgers. Yep, next year. Great place for him. Schnurbush. Boy, that shot was. <laughs> Asprilla did everything in that play. He changed the direction of the shot and he got the rebound. And a foul. I believe Mana fouled. Brad Brown is in number three for Don Bosco. You have two Browns in here. <laughs> Harper's fouled. Uh oh, it's 14 to seven. Don Bosco over Ramapo at this point in the game. Ramapo's been three for 18 shooting which is really what's causing One more the deficit. So Harper makes one, it's 15-7. Low scoring game. Absolutely. Ooh. And it, it's, Don Bosco's put some pressure on defensively, but Gramapo's had a couple of good looks, he just missed him. <laughs> They gotta make threes to stay in the game. I make that Servino's gonna be off. Taken down by Brown. Brown. Laughlin, who's a shooter. He's a shooter. Brady can shoot the eyes out of that ball. 19 to seven now. Don Bosco leads. Savino, Schnobush. Oh, Goldman out. <laughs> There's your outside shot, missed again. Savino. There's the Devs on the banner. That, that's that's across the uh, the across the way from us. There it is. Now you got a good look. <laughs> that's on the scorer's table across from us giving uh, all of the uh, sponsors of this year's Jamboree. And I'll give that those names to you after that when our next break. We haven't had many breaks here. Oh, Brown. And oh, finally, God. one Brown, two Browns. <laughs> and I think Brad Brown's gonna call for the foul. And 23 was fouled. You see the uh, the sponsors. Their names are put up on the uh, on the board there. I gotta get the technical name of that. Gotta get uh, Jordan Sarnoff to give us the name for that. He was involved in oh, putting that together. Oh, he'll have it. Oh <laughs> boy, Jordan. People don't remember Jordan was very big in the NCAA a couple of years ago. When and the shot is no good. Rebound, <laughs> put up and in. <laughs> Keith put that in, number 14. Jordan Sarnoff, he was uh, very instrumental in the NCAA when Philly Dickinson went and won a couple of games. He was highlighted during the game. Brown gets the finger roll, plus he picks, gets the foul on him. 
That's our, that's our guy, Jordan. Where, he's, that's him there. He's across from us. It, that's pretty good. That's a good imitation. It looks pretty good, yeah. It looks good, though. He's got nice dark hair and all. I saw him across the way, but he's gone now. Oh, we'll find him. Goldman with the rebound. So it's 21 to nine at this point. Yeah, uh, this Bosco using their defense, shooting the ball fairly well, and Ramapo just not making their shots. Well, three for 20, Larry. Huh? Told you how they scored nine points. And they need to make three points to stay in this game. A, bush, a bushel of them. A bushel, yes. <clears throat> You know, that, that I gotta say is the defense. Yes. One minute and three seconds to go. Still 21 to nine. Under a minute to go. Harper brings it up. Hopper behind the back, puts it up with a finger roll. I don't know if he can stop that. He's done that two or three times easily to make a 23 to nine. He's for real, they say. <laughs> He's the real deal. Oh my goodness, excellent player. Yeah, they're not giving that three-pointer to him. Seal. There it is! Now Seals is going to have to come out and start hitting that. <laughs> 23 to 12 now. Don Bosco leads with 13 seconds to go. Schnobush watching Harper. Harper gets around Schnobush, throws it out to Key to the side. Brown, no good. It wouldn't good if it hit. Oh, so half. we played the first half here at the Pagoda Savings Bank Center on the campus of Fairleigh Dickinson University. Don Bosco leads Ramapo 23 to 10 in the 67th Oscar F. Thompson Memorial Bergen County Jamboree Finals. We're at halftime, almost the end of halftime now, and the score is 23 to 12. Don Bosco leads Ramapo in the Jamboree Final here at the Bogota Savings Bank Center at Fairleigh Dickinson University. And John will give the uh, points that were scored by individual players. All right, starting with Ramapo. A total of 12 points for Ramapo. You had Englington Manor had a one three-point shot. Peyton Seal, five points, a three and a two. Wingfield, two points. And Keith, two points, a total of 12 points for Ramapo. For Don Bosco, you had Isaiah Brown had five points. Harper had 12 points. Jordan Geese had three points. And Lockley, which I love, had a three pointer for a total of 23. As far as rebounds, we had, um, we had four rebounds for uh, Don Bosco and And as far as shooting, we had uh, Don Bosco shot 42%, 8 for 19. Ramapo was 5 for 23 for 21.7%. Turnovers of 4 and 3, so the game is fine. What what has to happen at this point, Ramapo has to make the three points to stay in the game, as I see it. Ramapo's getting the looks, they're just not dropping the ball. If they get that drop, the looks they're getting, they may have a better chance of winning. Yes. Uh, let me go over the sponsors here for the Jamboree for 2024. The Sports Time, WCTV, The Record, Jack Physical Therapy, and the Parkwood Deli and Katie. Katie, we, we also have some called slow-mo and I just want to give a little more about that we spoke about it during the quarters and semi slow-mo is founded by professional NBA player Kyle Anderson team slow-mo AAU is a youth program designed to give young student athletes the tools to succeed 
on and off the court. Our mission is to develop players' basketball skills to the next level while simultaneously teaching its life's principles that will help them succeed on and off the court. We provide players with instructions in basketball, in life, and in success. We are located at Excel Sports and Fitness, 25 West Greenbrook Road, Fairfield, New Jersey. <laughs> We are getting ready now to begin the uh, second half, and we, as John and I have been mentioning it, that Ramapo has been getting their looks. They just haven't shot the <laughs> Hey, look who's here, Jordan Sarnoff. Hey. How are you? Hey, Jordan, if you remember, was the... Um, yeah, he got a, oh, it looks he was, like you. He was highlighted at, during the FDU games last year on the uh, NCAA. When FDU did game, they won two. They won two games. And Jordan was, cons I think he was the youngest SID in the nation. He's working here as an assistant to the athletic director. And only good things can happen to our friend Jordan. Now, folks, we know Jordan since he was an announcer at uh, Fort Lee High School. That's as correct. A freshman. And he's graduated, got his degree from FDU. And he has a very high ceiling that Jordan still got to achieve. And we all here at WCTV wish him nothing but the best. Manor will throw it in as we start the second half in front of a very, very large crowd here at FDU's Pagoda Saving Bank Center. Savino, Manor, Seals, Winfield, and Golden for Ramapo in white. Goldman from way downtown <laughs> rims the basket. Story of the game so far. The ball has rimmed the basket. The rims are tight for them. <laughs> yeah. Harper, cross court. Gee from way downtown. He rims the basket. Taken down by Seals. They've had their chances, Ramapo. Oh, absolutely. Don Bosco hasn't been heating, heating the uh, the game up. They're going to make their shots like they did last week. This will be a much closer game. Five steals for uh, Ramapo at this point. That's got to go in. No, it, not again. Seals. Puts it in. A Spiller <laughs> stopped him. Comes back out to Harper. That's a spiller stopping the uh, the attempted shot. Three-pointer. Good. <laughs> Laughlin with three points. And it's 26 to 12 now. Mike, that's downtown. Well, oh, that's really downtown <laughs> for Servino. I would I would have given him four points on that shot. <laughs> Harper bringing it up. I don't know, maybe he thought he had a shot at it. He made a, he makes them. I mean, it's not out of the question. Oh. Gee, another three points as Bosco starting to roll it. Roll as they go to 29 to 12 over Ramapo and Ramapo calls a timeout. The proceeds from the Jamboree and other county tournaments are used to fund the 54 scholarship awarded to each of the BCAA member schools. For several years, the BCCA has awarded $27,000 in scholarships, $500 to each school, largely due to the thousands of fans who support the Jamboree and other tournaments. This scholarship program is named in honor of Lou Lalazella, Longtime executive secretary, treasurer of the BCCA, and Melton Sport coach at Paramus High School. So the money goes to a worthwhile cause. Seals brings it to the forecourt, stops, shoots, and hits. So Seals hits. That's Coach Nick Vish trying to. Get his kids into the game. They just got to make those shots like Shields did. They can try to climb back. They're down 29-14. 
14 point lead. Harper working, puts it up and fights his way through Winfield and puts it in. 31 to 14. That's 14 points for uh, Harper. Servino has been quiet today. He's had his shots, just haven't dropped. Seals. Oh. I, I, I don't know what more to say. He is going to, he is playing so well, Aspirilla. Aspirilla! He, <laughs> he, he blocks a number of shots. Unbelievable. He's averaging, in the Jamboree, he is averaging 2.3 block shots a game. And he's a sophomore, folks. Come back next year and watch him as a junior. Could only non see what he would do as a senior. Nice to see. That's a nice play by Savino and to Winfield. 31-16. Don Bosco leads. Brown. Rims and oh. goes, I thought, in, out, and then back out again. <laughs> Seals. Seals was able to get it back to Goldman. Goldman to Manor. Cut off by Brown. Manor. Now that's downtown. Yeah, he, that, was, <laughs> that, that was Fifth Avenue shot. <laughs> Sealed. Oh, oh there look it at is. this one. Oh, that would have brought rain. <laughs> yeah, that was a long shot down Cook. Laughlin gonna be short. A long, I'm sorry. A sprilla. Oh! <laughs> and a timeout on the court as a sprilla bangs it in. 33-16 <laughs> with 3.54 to go. Don Bosco leads, and as as you see him there, is he's listed at seven feet, one, one inch in tall. He looks taller. <laughs> when you stand near him, he's all. My goodness. Tall. But John, just to uh, talk about him, we talk about other plays, but him, because we saw him come here last year as a freshman, and you could see he was raw. He, he was going through the motions. He understood what he wanted to do. He just couldn't do it. This year, he understands what he wants to do, and he has the ability to do it. Next year, he's going to be oh. able to polish everything off, and he is going to be something to deal with next year for all these schools. I'm going to say, if he develops, he will play in the next, in college for sure, and definitely in the pros. Well, you could say this, that when we get to the senior year or junior year next year, he'll be, I want to say, highly recruited. <laughs> Just like quickly, colleges? Ramapo, 7 for 31. Wow. And Don Bosco, 12 for 26. That's your reason why the score is at a point, at this point. 7 for 31, that's uh, less than 25%, almost 20% shooting for 21.7%. Hey, I did my rhythm that, very quick on my head. Was that Bobby? Bobby, did you do that in your head or you had it? Oh, oh okay. 21.7. <laughs> what a man. Thank you. I had to do it in my head. I got under, oh. 20, under 25. <laughs> Sears back to Winfield. <laughs> See, uh, Spiro stopped that layup. A lot of times would have been a layup there. Sears with a turnaround. Taken down by Manor. Goldman has a clear shot. Misses, no good. Knocked away, comes to Servino. <laughs> Servino drives. Knocked away. Harper, this is two points or a foul. Oh. He is very quick into the court. <laughs> it's 33-16 with 2.48 to go. Schnorbush and Keith come in for the Ramapo. Look how tall he is, number 34. Now he gets close <clears throat> to us. <clears throat> My goodness. I think he's two of me. <laughs> <laughs> And rebound, no oh, good, rebound, no good, together. rebound. <laughs> and they fouled him. I bet, how, how close, if he puts his hand up, how far is he away from the rim? Let's figure out, the, we're gonna have to ask him, just put your stretch. <laughs> Six you inches? You can touch it without inch? jumping? <laughs> He's a nice young man. Very quiet. 
very quiet. It would be an outstanding This is player. the nice, this is nice thing to be involved in sports. You watch a young man like this come in as a freshman, and then you come back two years from now, watch him as a senior, and you see oh the Oh, my goodness. Defense! Defense! <laughs> Sears. Harper. Harper. Bangs it in. <laughs> makes, it, makes it look easy. 16 points for him at this point. We'll give you a time to score, but he's some player. Harper. 35-16 as... Uh, Bosco will take the ball. Jordan Rickst comes in number five. Here's Harper coming up. Snowbush watching him. Bosco had a tough game last week against Northern Highlands. Harper, I believe, scored 31 points. Yeah, he had a great game. But the Ball. rest of them weren't playing. They, they, was, they were nonchalant in that game, I thought. And <laughs> Sears lays it in. As he gets ahead of everybody and puts it in. <laughs> Brown calls number two as we get to 147 to go in the third quarter. Brown has a step and <laughs> just missed it. He had everything except to go in. Seals around Brady. Seals dishes off. Back to Seals. Oh, that was excellent. That's excellent. what they do very well. That's what Ramapo can do very, very well. I was ready to clap on that play. 15-point <laughs> lead, 35-20. Seals has 11 points at this junction. Six points in the third quarter. Harper fires it over to Gee from long range. No good. Taken down by Savino as we get close to the one minute mark and we're at the one minute mark of the third quarter now. Seals gets oh. run into. I think on Harper, I believe. Let's yeah. See. yeah. It was a little. Here's Ed Cromo. Ed Cromo. Oh boy, did he help me during this uh, jamboree. He was always there for any question I had. And boy, did I have problems. <laughs> and, he's, and he solved them right away. Great guy. Oh yeah. That's a great job. Gonna call a walkie. And Joe Hausman calling, I think, I don't know what year, in the 30s. Oh, he, he is. is. He is the voice of the Jamboree, it always will be. He's like a, he's like a professor emeritus. Oh my God. Of the voice. That voice you can tell from miles away. Jimmy McConville is sitting to his right. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Harper uh, with a finger roll as he drives right down the middle. And makes it 37 20, a 17 point lead with 41 seconds to go. 18 point for Harper. All in the flow of the game. And making it look easy. Absolutely. Seals. Keith. Keith. Reverse. Missed again. <laughs> Asprilla. <laughs> Malik Shepard, number five, is in for Don Bosco. I don't want to miss that. Ten seconds. Harper. Five seconds. He'll shoot from downtown. Almost got knocked in. <laughs> Savino shoots and... Oh! oh! Wouldn't have count. No if good. It, if so he made it, we would have given it to him. There's Pete DeFranco to the left and our good dear friend Paul Pugliese, the co-chairman of the committee to his right. They're taking the game in. Long time friends. Here's your score, 37 to 20, a 17 point lead for Don Bosco Prep here in the finals of the 67th Oscar F. Thompson Memorial Bergen County Jamboree, and you are watching WCTV, the old volunteer group from the township of Washington. <laughs> Jimmy McConville, reporter for the record and does a lot of the stats here for the Jamboree. Gives us stats for games and information. He's very helpful. Also, he covers high school sports, football. 
hockey too. Saw him up at uh, the Ice Vault, I think, in Wayne, covering some hockey games. I was up there with my grandson, freezing. Hey folks, if you children or grandchildren play hockey, even if it's uh, July, dress up like it's January. It's cold in those places. Woo. Just some stats. Uh, Go ahead. Rebounds for uh, Don Bosco, 14, 16 for Ramapo. Uh, turnover is pretty much six to five in favor of Don Bosco. Ramapo shooting nine for 36, the reason why they're behind. And Don Bosco's, was it 14 for 35? There's your, there's your score right there. Yeah, absolutely. So 37 to 20. Jump shot, good. He, another three, and it's a 20 point lead for Don Bosco. Right. <laughs> Shield brings it up. Oh, Don Bosco's played an outstanding game. Servino for three. They play defense. <coughs> they made most of their shots. Not all of them, but enough to go up 40 to 23. <coughs> and you have Harper when things get a little slow, a little tight. He's there for a, a pick-me-upper. And here's Gee, who's a three-point shooter. That's off. Here comes Seals. Goldman. Reverse, no good. Gee with the rebound, hands to Harper. Harper quickly into the forecourt, drives, stops. Ooh. And it's foul. He'll shoot two. <laughs> Let's see here, Bosco won last week, 63-49 over Northern Highlands. Ramapo defeated Bergen Catholic, 69-57. That's how they got here. Number two, Dylan Harper. Harper will have two guns, two. Bosco beat St. Mary's, 72-31. Northern Highlands knocked off Tenafly, 75-49. That was at the Hackensack in the, in the quarters. We, done, we did those games. So that, that's Makes how they got the first. here. Yeah, Bosco knocked off Hackensack, 85-45. And St. Mary's beat uh, Ramsey, 59-44. He's around the 16. Northern Highlands, 46-33 over Dumont. Ramapo beat Fairlawn, 70-46. So that's, uh, that's how this uh, jamboree went. Harper has 20 points at this junction. The Spirit takes the ball away from Seals. Hands it to Harper. Harper, quickly in four court. Oh! That's, that's Spears. Shot was no good. Savino. See how he shot that ball? He put that ball way up in the air. 42-25. This is Brown all the way in like he was just on the court by himself made it look that easy like walking in the park <laughs> as they say yeah nice and easy seal manna he hurried that one yeah 536 to go Don Bosco is five minutes and 36 seconds away from winning another championship. I believe, if I get this right, that'll be their 12th. Obviously number one in, in our area on that. For yeah, sure. Teaneck is, has 12. Close, yeah. I'll double check that. That was Marsh. <laughs> and we have a foul. Teaneck has a... Uh, Teaneck has 12 championships. Bergen Catholic has 11, and Don Bosco Prep has 11. So with a win today, Bosco will tie Teaneck for the most titles, and they have an overall record of 94 and 33, Don Bosco has, in the Jamboree. 
So they've done very well in this tournament over the years. Harper is fouled. <laughs> the most wins in the Jamboree are by Bergen Catholic. They have 110 wins and 44 losses. <laughs> Just to give you an idea with Don Bosco, they have 94 and 33 coming into the Jamboree. So it looks like with five minutes to go, they'll pick up their 12th title as Harper increased the lead to 20 points. And John, I'm going through some of these stats. The most points ever scored was by Kevin Newshunter. The oh. first games we did in 93. 47. 47 points back in 93. Wow. I, you know, as we were talking, I missed that basket that was made by. It was the Harper. Harper. Uh, Seals we... missed. Brown. Well, that logo with WCTV really looks good. Harper, Brown, and they're gonna call a foul. On number 10. And yeah, <laughs> it looks like it. Seals, yeah. Seals got the foul. <laughs> so we're very happy to be on that, uh, that, that sign at WCTV looks as good. a sponsor. Yep. Harper shooting from downtown is gonna be short. Knocked away, comes to Manor, who will get an easy layup here. Makes it 46-27. Brown, coming up, Seals. Harper. Puts it up. Harper gets two more points. So 48 points for Don Bosco, 27 for Ramapo. 26 points for uh, Mr. Harper. Well, in the <laughs> semifinal, he had 31, John. Well, he can make that. <laughs> Whitfield shot, no good. Spriller with the rebound. And to Brown. Isaiah brings it across. Gets a step, puts it up. No good. Spriller has it knocked out of bounds. <laughs> Schnurbush is in for Ramapo, number 22. Three minutes and 35 seconds to go in the tournament. Bosco has a 48-27 lead. They will get their 12th championship and tie Teaneck for the most. And many of those championships have come in the last couple of years. They're able to get a lot of players to come in. You know, it's a great school, Don Bosco. Remember, we had that tour over there with the president of Don Bosco. You're right about it, yeah. That's a college, not a high school. It's a college. Oh, it's beautiful yeah. up there. Got a Excellent. beautiful campus. Excellent. <clears throat> We're going to pick up some more of the stats here. Yep. Yep. Brady puts it in. Brady Lawton lays it in. And now we're just icing on the cake. It's 50-27. Who was that? Uh, who made that? Uh, Lawton. Lawton. Snowbush hands it in. No good. Harper has. <laughs> Harper, a sprilla. And hits <laughs> it. If you want the cherry on the cake, that's it right there. 52-27. Don Bosco leads. <laughs> Sears, no good. Winfield gets the rebound. <laughs> the whistle. Bosco, I said last year, Bosco a little while ago. Bosco won last year, they beat Bergen Catholic. They lost in the finals in 22. 
to Bergen Catholic, and here they defeat Ramapo. Ramapo is the first public school to be in the uh, final since Teaneck did it in 2015. So we get to the two minute mark. Manor puts it up and there's a whistle. Gives me a chance to start saying the thank yous. And boy, do we have a lot of thank yous to do. Because we're just the tip of the iceberg. There's so many people behind us, helping us. We want to thank, to give thanks to us. Without them, we never would be able to do these games. First, we want to thank the Jamboree Committee, Rookie Corcoran and Paul Pugliese, Leon Steinberg, John Ryan, and Grandma, Chris Sanibel, Joe Denisio, and Glenn Stokes. Thank you so very much for all your help. The Bergen County Coach Association, Mike Hossage, Dan Vivino, Mike Hart, Howie Conklin, Edwin Sheeran, and Joe Del Buno. So thank you so very much. I want to thank the people in the different schools who gave us so much help. Uh, the Tenafly, Joe Coelho, and in Hackensack, Scooter Witty. We couldn't have put those games out yeah. without Scooter Witty. As Harper goes off to a nice ovation. Joe, how many points did Harper score? What do you get him down for? 28. There you go, 31 last week. Came up big in the semifinals and final games at the Ram at Ramapo. The Northern Highlands, administrative Mike Cart, and coach Jonathan Schmidt, Tenafly, Joe <laughs> Coelho, and Jeff Kohler. St. Joe's, Reginald St. Rose, and Dan Davis. St. Mary's, John Jensen, and Brian Giacchione. Denveris, Michael Pito, and Pat Gabriel. From Bergen Catholic, our friend Brendan McGovern, and Billy Armstrong. Of course, Don Bosco Prep, Kevin DeVario, and his wonderful staff. Walsh goes around here, a lot of substitutions. <coughs> and Michael Goldstein, the senior, hits for three. Grandma Paul, Glenn Stokes, and Nick Veal. <laughs> thank you, thank you all so very much. But without you, we couldn't uh, put this game on with 126 to go. And of course, for all the volunteers at WCTV, those who are here today, Bob Steckel, Paul, Lou Serbio, Ida, who put everything together with, on the phone with Ricky Ochicki, who's at the studio when we get back. He can't make it here, but he's at the studio all the time, we, all the games we did, and he gets the equipment and gets the tape and puts everything together and puts it on channel 24 Verizon and on our website, <coughs> WCTV and Jay. Shot from the outside, number 33, James Camper. So he want, comes in and watch, he makes a three-pointer. Watch the games on the, the internet. Go to WCTV and Jay on YouTube, and our games are there. Order on Verizon, Channel 24. They'll be on tonight, Sunday night, and all Monday, 8, 10, 12, 4, and 8. So we want to thank everybody. <coughs> So, again, thank everybody here. Oh, and of course, the people here at the um, Bogota Savings Bank Center, Kathy Bates, block. Thank you very much for your hospitality, not only today, but over the years. They've been so good to us at WCTV. 57, 33, as we're down to the last 30 seconds of the game. Ricks will hold, <laughs> and this will do it. Six yep. seconds. <clears throat> Goldstein will hold it, and that will do it. Tom Bosco has won the 2024 <laughs> Bergen County Jamboree, 57 to 33, over Gramapo. <laughs> Go ahead, John. Any stats? Just the stats uh, for the winners, Don Bosco. Isaiah Brown had seven. Uh, Michael Goldstein had three. Harper had 26. He was the high score MVP for this game. Three for D, six for Zuki, and six for 
Asperito, the seven foot two, total 57. Paul Ramapo, Servino had five. Manor had five. Seals had 11. Winfield had six. Keith had two. And Gamper came in the game, put a three for the final score, 57 to 33. The winner, Don Bosco. As far as Percentages for Ramapo, 14 for 48, 29%, and for Don Bosco, 20 for 45 for 44%. Great shooting for Don Bosco. They're announcing, uh, Joe Osmond's announcing players from Don Bosco, but it's going to be tough to see them because all the people are milling around. We have to get somebody out there from WCTV say move away. <laughs> Let me see if I can help a little bit here. That was number 24, Gavin O'Keefe. This is number 22, Cameron Cruz. Oh, that's nice. He's number 13, Carson Reynolds. I'm sorry if I don't get everybody, <laughs> but it's just impossible to see here. This is number 10. Ah, <laughs> oh, there we go. J.P. Sturrock. Number 12. This is going to be number <laughs> number 12. That's uh, Chris Yevchek. <laughs> I'll help you. Let's see if I can help you, Larry. Number four. Number four, right? Ryan Camacho. There he is. Taking their time coming out. I like the new haircut everybody gets. You and I let, let it grow. <laughs> Bye. Again. Have a great, great life. That's number one. Both you guys. Michael Goldstein. Number 11. Chris Lotito. Lotito. Shepard, Malik Shepard. I believe that's going to be, yeah, here he is. Here he comes. William Mensa. He got into early foul trouble. But he was, uh, he, he was very, uh, he did a lot of good work during the Jamboree. He just got caught up with fouls today. That was that was Brad Brown, number three. Thirty-three is uh, Israel Jackson. Remember in one of the games in the uh, uh, quarterfinals, he hit four threes in a row. This Kinda is Asprilla. Kinda Asprilla. Don't to see this young man continue his, I don't want to say his watch upward, his watch <laughs> forward. And Brady Loughlin. I always liked that young man. He, uh, he plays within the system, but he can shoot and he'll do everything possible. Good shooter. Got a haircut. Must have lost a bet. This looks like William Gee. Is it Gee? Jordan Key. <laughs> Isaiah Brown, zero. Nice ball play. And Dylan Harper. Definitely the MVP. <laughs> of the tournament. Of the tournament. And like Paul Bluegley said, he's not the second highest player in the nation for nothing. You and, he, see why. and he played a perfect game today. Consistent throughout the game. Played some good defense too. Nick Veer, the head coach, Nick, did a great he, job. He did. And I just want to say, uh, you're going to hear some good things about uh, Ramapo when they go into the state finals starting Wednesday. They'll be there at group three. 
they're going to go deep into the finals. I they concur. Got a team if they don't win it. And they're coming out to get the uh, trophy for the, the team. Uh, Harper will accept it for the team and the coaches. And they raise it above their heads. And they are the county champions. And now they can celebrate today, maybe a little bit tomorrow, but then they got to get ready for the states, which are going to be, <laughs> that's going to be that's a, a bond burner with the schools that are in there, St. Peter's and Bergen Catholic. You have to play your A game. You, you got to come your A game, game every game, night. Sure. So the Jamboree has come to an end. Larry LaFury along with John Francola. We hope you enjoyed it. Started back on the 23rd of uh, January. They had eight games at the highest seed. Then they moved to the round of 16. Then the quarters at Hackensack, which we... So it, it goes quickly. When you're in the Jamboree from January to the middle of February, this time goes extremely fast. But it, it was another great one. This is our 28th championship, John, and we're very honored to be part of this uh, this tournament. And we've done approximately 210 games, give or take. We can't really, can't really remember all of them, but about 210 games. And we enjoyed every single one of them. Unbelievable, Larry. It's been tremendous. Coming here, knowing the one time, I remember the snowing out, there was a big crowd. And they waited, and they supposed to push the game up a good half hour to get the people in. People were all over the place waiting to come in. And we were sitting here. What a place. It, it's, been, it's been fantastic. So again, I thanked everybody. You, you see John and myself, but behind us there were a lot of people that make this possible to put this tournament on. And without them, we would never be able to do it. And imagine. So for everybody at WCTV, all the volunteers who have come, who are here, and who help behind the scenes back at the studio, I want to thank you. Again, Don Bosco is the winner. They are the Jamboree champion for 2004, 57 to 33 over Ramapo. Good night, everybody. See you Good next year. Good night.